before working on your vehicle, always raise and secure it to the frame with properly rated jack stands or automotive hoist according to the vehicle manufacturer's recommendations and procedures. For safety, the installer and all vehicle drivers must review the complete set of print version installation instructions and heed all the included cautions and warnings. Bearing polar maintenance and periodic cleaning will prolong the useful life of this tool. Keep the polar's threads clean, lubricating when necessary, before each use to improve its life and to prevent the threads from seizing. Place the outer bearing race onto the bearing that needs to be pulled. This is necessary to help isolate the bearing rollers so they can evenly place the pulling load onto the bearing cage and the inner race. Place the polar body centered onto the pinion shaft. Adjust the bottom polar ring so it contacts the top of the race. During the entire setup and pulling process, it is imperative to keep the polar body and clamshells as centered as possible to the bearing being pulled. Choose the smallest clamshell that fits under and smaller than the bearing roller cage. Place one half of the shell over the polar rings and race, adjusting the top polar ring to secure the top of the clamshell. When the clamshell half is secure, position the corresponding half shell. Make sure it's gripping evenly under the bearing cage lip. There should be no vertical play within the chosen clamshell. If the chosen clamshell pair is too small, the retainer ring will not fit over the clamshells, and there will likely be a gap between the halves. If the clamshell pair is too large, the shells will pull past the bearing cage, or may cause the bearing cage to deform under the uneven pulling load. Slide the retainer ring over the clamshells and hand tighten the retainer bolt to secure everything in place. Use an impact driver to drive the pin clockwise into the puller. The puller will lift, engaging the clams and bringing the bearing and race along with. Place the bearing puller adapter ram into the side differential bearing journal using the best fitting adapter end. Without using the adapter ram, the puller pin will not reach the necessary depth to engage the clams and pull the bearing. Check for the smallest clamshell pair that grips evenly under the side differential bearing cage lip, as the same clamshell that worked on the pinion bearing may not be the best fit for these. Aside from the adapter ram being necessary, pulling off side differential bearings works the same as using the puller on pinion bearings. Place the puller body over the bearing adapter ram, adjust the lower puller ring so it sits flush to the top of the bearing. Adjust the top polar ring to secure the top of the clamshell. Remember, there should be no vertical play within the chosen clamshell, and make sure it's gripping evenly under the bearing cage lip. Slide the retainer ring over the clamshells and hand tighten the retainer bolt to secure everything in place. Using the impact driver, drive the pin clockwise into the puller. This will cause the puller to lift, engaging the clamshells and bringing the bearing and race along with.
to ensure quality and authenticity for a dependable clamshell bearing puller. Part number 90-0001-1. Make sure to buy direct from National Drivetrain or through registered distributors, such as AccuAuto Parts. Got questions? Planning a build and need help? Call, email, or comment below. We'd be happy to help.